Hi everyone and welcome to this mobility flow. Today we're going to be focusing on standing poses and balances. So you will need two blocks with you and we're actually going to be getting seated on one of our blocks. So you can either position the block onto the lowest height or the medium height. I'm going to take it to the medium height. We're coming into a Vajrasana, so a kneeling pose. So block position right underneath your sit bones, so those two bony areas of your butt. And we're just going to start off with a bit of a twist. So from here, popping your left hand outside of your right thigh. Just reach your right fingertips down towards the ground behind you. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, just take a gentle twist here. Deep breath in. Exhale, gently twisting. And then inhale, come back through center. We'll take that to the other side. So this time, popping your right hand outside of your left thigh. You may want to pop your left hand behind your lower back. Breathing, grow tall. Exhale, spiral. Just a very gentle, easy twist to begin with. Shoulders drop out of your ears. Inhale, feel that length and elongation through your spine before exhaling, slowly revolving around. Come back through centre. We're going to add on. So this time you're going to land your right fingertips behind you and you're going to reach and grab hold of the front of your right knee. And then you're going to lean back so that you're taking a bit of a stretch through the front of that right ankle. And we're just going to hold here for a couple of breaths. And then from here, just slowly unravel from this twist. Lower that right knee down and we'll take it to the other side. So start by gently twisting, lean back, left hand onto the ground, onto your mat. Then grab hold, or you may need to grab hold of that left knee first. And then just gently revolve. So you're getting that release of the front of your left ankle here. And then from here, slowly unravel from your twist. Lean forward, I'm going to spin around so I'm facing the top of your mat. But we're all going to find hands and knees, cat, cow shape. Inhale, drop your belly down. Lift your chest, look forward. And then exhale, plug your palms down. Round between your two short blades. Feel your, the back of your heart elevate towards the ceiling. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine and attack your toes under. Lift your hips, make your way back into your first downward facing dog. As always, take any movement that it is that you need. So you feel that release through your legs. Feet are at least hip width distance apart here. Knees can be bent, heels can be lifted. Press them up forward and away from you. Shift your weight back into your feet. Spine is long, upper arm bones align with your ears and feel as though the crown of your head is lengthening towards the ground as you press your weight back. Take one more breath in. Slowly empty your breath out. As you inhale, rise high onto your toes, knees bend up forward between your heads. Slowly make your way up to the top of your mat. Feet will be hip with distance apart. Toes forward and then drop your weight down into your heels, chair pose. Feel as though you're curling your tailbone under. Lift your pubic bone, this bone at the front of your pelvis, up towards your nose. If you're feeling compression through your shoulders, take your arms wider, cactus your arm bones. Otherwise, keep your arms long and lift your upper arm bones, your biceps up in line with your ears. And feel as though you're taking a baby cobra here as you lift your upper chest. Then from here, you're going to drive down through your feet, hands to prayer, shift your weight into your left foot, float your right leg up to a stall pose. Left hand outside of your right thigh, right hand onto your hip. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, a gentle twist. Breath in. So feel as though you're pressing down through your left big toe. And exhale, spiral. Come back to centre, hands at prayer. And then lower your right foot down. Shift to your right leg. Float your left foot up. Imagine that your right leg is like the roots of a tree. It's pressing, your foot is pressing down into the earth. Right hand out sort of left thigh, left hand onto your hip. Breathe in, nice long spine and exhale, revolve. Keep your chest broad and open, shoulders draw away from your ears. Keep rooting down through your standing leg as you continue to grow taller up through the crown of your head. Slowly revolve back through center. A little bit of engagement through your lower belly. Hands to prayer. Lower your left foot down, drop your butt. Hands sweep forward and up, chair pose. 
breath in here and then exhale fold yourself in two bend both knees release your left leg back runners lunge inhale here you're going to look forward hands to the mat pick your right foot up step it back into a high plank high push up always options to lower your knees if you need to modify otherwise take a breath in here firm through your legs cinch in through your waist Grow tall out through the top of your skull and then exhale, lower all the way down onto the earth. Untuck your toes, take your hands wider than your mat. You're gonna breathe in, lift your chest up to a baby cobra. So you're doming and lifting your palms off the earth and then exhale, spiral your right shoulder forward. Bit of a release, bit of a rinse in the front of that right shoulder. Inhale, back through centre, exhale. Rolling that left shoulder forward. Inhale, back through centre. Exhale, forehead meets the earth, hands draw in underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, knees hover off the ground, firm energize through your legs, exhale, press up, high plank, high push up and then make your way back into your downward facing dog. Pause for a round of breath, inhale, feel your lower ribs expand sideways and exhale out. Firm and lift through the front of your thighs, even if your knees are bent. Inhale, heels lift, look forward between your two hands. Make your way up to the top of your mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Drop your butt down, weighting your heels. Chair pose. We won't be here for long this time. And then exhale, fold forward. Hands to the earth, lift your hips. Lean into your left foot as you step your right foot back. Come into your runner's lunge here. Breath in, look forward. Keep your back leg energized. You feel the skirt at the back of your right knee spread. Then pick your left foot up. Step it back into your high plank. Inhale. Curl your pubic bone up towards your nose. Back of your neck long. As you take your next breath out, slowly resist as you lower your weight onto the mat. Elbows graze your ribs. Untuck your toes, we're moving into a chest stretch here. So option to either keep your left arm straight or bent. Come up onto your right fingertips, you're going to lift your right leg, turn and gaze towards the right. So left cheek, left shoulder is onto the mat. Big breath in. Slowly empty out. One more like that, inhale. Relax to the tops of your shoulders. Roll back onto your belly and we'll take that to the other side. So either creating that um, cactus shape with your arms or keep your right arm straight out from your shoulder. Come up onto your left fingertips, lift your left leg up and over. And you just want to be mindful here guys, if you've taken the bent arm variation, this elbow needs to be either in a line or just above your shoulder. You don't want your elbow drawing down your back. Headrest here, you're welcome to pop a block underneath your head. If you would like that extra support. And then from here, slowly roll back onto your belly. Hands slide underneath your shoulders and you're going to press back onto your hands and knees, come up into a high kneeling. And then from here, we're going to step our right foot forward. So come into a lunge from here. Breath in, look forward here. Tuck your toes under, grab hold of blocks if you need, pop them underneath your hands. And as you breathe out, you're going to begin to straighten up through that right leg. And we're just going to inhale, rebend into your right knee, come back into the lunge. Exhale, straighten up through your right leg. One more like that, inhale, lunge. Exhale, straighten up through your right leg. Press down through your right big toe. Lift your right knee cap from the front of your right quad and then wrap your right outer hip crease back. Try and create as much length and space as possible through the front body. So feel as though you can stretch your belly button towards your knee, but reach your pubic bone and your left and the thigh back. As you take your next inhale, slowly lift your chest up, rebend into your right leg, so you're coming back into that active lunge. Ground through your feet, pull your right heel to your left toes as you inhale, come all the way up into your crescent lunge. Exhale, lunge a little bit deeper. Inhale, you're then going to reach your left hand forward, right arm back, and then from here, just allow your right arm or your right forearm to drape down the back of your right butt, on the back of your right hip. Reach your left arm up and over. Keep pulling right heel to your left toes. Cinch in through your waist, a little lift from your pelvic floor. From here, you're going to cuddle your both hands 
forward and down, come back into your runner's lunge. Sink your left knee down and then slide your right foot back, hands and knees. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, spread your pot collarbones as you lift your gaze, and then exhale, dome between your two shoulder blades. Inhale, come back into that neutral spine, walk your hands in towards your legs, and then roll your spine all the way up, coming into that high knee, and we'll take it to the other side. So left foot steps forward. First of all, coming into your low lunge. Once again, grab hold of your blocks. Tuck your right toes under right knee, pose off the earth. From here, breathe in your look forward. Exhale, slowly begin to straighten up through your left knee. Firm through both legs, so both legs are active here. Inhale, bending into your left leg, look forward. Exhale, straighten up through that left leg. One more like that, inhale. We bend into your left leg. Exhale, straighten up through your left knee. Press down through your left big toe, left inner heel. Firm your left knee, wrap your left outer hip crease back. And I want you to squeeze your thighs together. You should be stacked right on top. So your right heel directly on top of your right toes. Again, looking for that length and space at the front of your torso will drain your shoulders down and out of your ears. Take one more inhale here. And then slowly release all of your breath. Inhale, re-bend into your left leg, coming back into your active lunge. Pull your left heel to your right toes and then hug your outer hips in so glutes are engaged. Inhale, come all the way up into your high lunge, your crescent lunge. Stay as you breathe out. If you're feeling tension through your lower back, you can bend your back knee, otherwise keep your back leg straight. And then from here, reach your right arm forward, left hand back as we come into a twist. Keep your hips square, so you want to feel as though you're drawing your right, your, sorry, your left thigh bone back. And then slowly lower your left arm, so your left forearm just rests on the back of your left hip. And then from here, you're going to energize and reach long through your right fingertips, taking a baby back bend here. Feel your shoulder blades press into the back of the heart to get a little bit more open and elevation through the front of your chest. And then from here, with control, slowly cartwheel, circle both hands down onto the mat. Deliver your right knee onto the earth, untuck your right toes, slide your left foot back, hands and knees. Breath in, drop your belly down into your cow pose. Feel your belly, your chest broaden and open. And then exhale, rounding here. From here. Walk your hands in, rolling all the way up into that high lunge. We're going to add on. Step your right foot forward, low lunge, tuck your right toes under, come into your runner's lunge. Breath in, look forward, exhale, we're just going to take one hamstring, one pyramid pose. Fold forward on your breath out, grabbing hold of blocks if you need. On your next inhale, we bend into your right leg. And then from here, come all the way up into your crescent lunge. Couple options with your hands. You can keep your arms overhead or you can draw your hands to prayer to modify. But we're going to tilt forward, hug in through your lower belly. So feel as though that space between your two hip bones is drawing back and in. And then shift your weight into your right leg as you float your left leg up. Lift from your left inner thigh. So warrior three position or hands at prayer. Take a micro bend. So as you through that right knee. Continue to reach back through your right left toes and then roll your left front knee bone down. Drive down through your right foot as you come all the way up. Stalk pose, left knee to nose. Flex your left foot and then you're going to pop your left ankle on top of your right thigh as we come into our funky pigeon figure four. Way back into your right heel. You can keep your hands at prayer. Maybe you want to rest your hands on blocks. Maybe if you take the arm balance, I'm just gonna hop back a little bit. Lean forward, you're gonna wrap your left toes around your right tricep, shift your weight into your fingers. And just pausing like so. And all the way up. From here, come back into stalk, drive down through your right foot, left knee to nose, lower your left leg, toes out, heels and drop your butt down for a squat malasana. Press your elbows to your inner knees. Inner knees hug tight towards your elbows. As you feel your pelvic bowl get heavy and sink towards the earth, I then want you to gently lean back and grow tall through the crown of your head. Take one more inhale. Slowly breathe out. Hands in that, lift your hips. Step it back into your down dog. Lengthen out through your legs. 
and then from here we're going to rise onto your toes, roll forward into your high plank, knees bend slowly, lower your knees to the mat, untuck your toes, walk your hands towards your thighs, rolling all the way back up into that high kneeling. Then we're going to step your left foot forward into your low lunge. Keep your blocks handy if you need. Tuck your right toes under, hover your right knee off the mat. Runners lunge, stay active. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Coming into your pyramid pose. Anchor down through your left big toes. You wrap your left outer hip crease back. Inhale, re-bend into your left leg. Pull left heel to right toes. Draw your thigh bones towards each other. Come all the way up into your crescent lunge, high lunge. And options to keep your arms here or options to draw your hands to your chest to prayer, but just make sure that you soften your lower ribs in and out. So there's that connection there between your hips and your ribs. And this will help as you lean forward here and come into your warrior three. So there's still that relationship, drawing ribs to your hips, hugging for your lower belly. You want to roll your right inner thigh towards the ceiling as you roll your right frontal hip bone down. Shoulders draw down and away from your ears. And as much as you press back through your right foot, you then want to reach long through the top of your head. Small bend to your right knee. Press down firmly through the sole of your left foot. So small bend to your left knee. Press down firmly through the sole of your left foot. Come up into your stock pose, right knee to nose. Flex your right foot. Place your right ankle on top of your left lower thigh. Sink your way back into your left heel for your glute stretch. Funky pigeon or figure four. Hands can stay at prayer. You can rest your hands onto the mat. Maybe onto your blocks, and that's enough for you. Yeah, but you do want to keep quite a big bend into your left leg. Otherwise, if you want to move and try that arm balance, you want to wrap your right toes around your left tricep. Lean forward, you want to take your right shin bone as high as possible up your triceps. Then you're just going to pick your heel up. Elbows wrap in like chaturanga arms. So elbows, wrist, shoulders in one line. And then from here, slowly take it back. Everybody ground down through your left foot. Come all the way up into your stop pose, right knee to nose. Lower your right foot down, toes out, heels in. Malasana squat. Drop your butt. Take a moment to breathe. Take a moment to pause. Just witnessing your breath here. One more breath in. Slowly breathe out. Release your hands behind you. Drop your bottom down. You're going to take the soles of your feet together. Knees wide, interlace your fingers around your toes. Baddha Konasana. Breath in. Stretch your heart forward. Exhale, you're going to bow. Elbows. Either in front of your shins or you can use it always to press your shin bones down. But rather than rounding forward and lifting your shoulders up, it's always that feeling of length through your torso, through your body, through your spine. Feel those shoulders make their way down and away from your ears. So you feel the edges of your nice, your neck grow longer. As you take your next breath in, slowly lift your torso up. We're moving into fire log pose, or box pose, or figure four. Couple of options, I'll spin around so you can see what I'm doing. And we release for the outer glutes. So option one, you're really tight. You can sit in a cross-legged shape. You can also sit on your block here, yeah? Option two, one shin bone will be stacked on top of the other. This can be quite intense. So you can pop your foot onto a block like so, or maybe a block is underneath your knee, or maybe you sit on your block again. But the key thing you want to watch with this pose is, and often I see this in class, is that people's knees are too wide. So you want to draw your knees in closer, yeah, so that you take this ankle bone on the outside of your shin. Feet flex back. Feel your pelvis drop down into the earth and fall forward. So you release all those outer hips. From here as you inhale, slowly lift your chest up and tangle your legs. Soles of your feet flat, knees rock side to side. And we'll take that to the other side. So 
the shin bone in front, option one. Option two is we take the leg stacking. So again, you need to slide your knees close enough in so that your ankle bone is on the outside of your quad and just watch that this bottom shin bone is parallel to the top of your mat. One side may feel tighter than the other. That's perfectly normal. So if you need to pop a block underneath that knee or underneath the foot or underneath your butt, please go ahead and do so. And then slowly make your way forward. Slowly lift your chest up, walk your fingers towards your legs. Untangle your feet and knees just rock from side to side. We're just going to finish in a wide-legged foot fold, Ukavishta Knasana. Think of what legs as wide as you need. You can sit on a block here if you like. If you're really tight and this is you, you're rounding, knees bent, that's fine, yeah? You take what you can, but I do recommend sitting on a block or maybe a cushion or a towel if you're at home. You want to hinge forward from your hips. Again, it's that sensation of length through your spine. If you take it deeper into our inner thighs, shoulders are down and away from your ears. And take one more breath in. Slowly breathe out. Slowly lift your chest up, walk your hands in towards your hips, grab hold of behind the back of your legs. Slide your legs in towards your chest. You're welcome to take a Shavasana here, otherwise I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me.